Hey guys, welcome back to Salt and Pepper Gaming. Well, we love the PS5, but it's currently annoying so many people with this one problem. And in this episode, we're going to show you how to fix it. Let's go. So if you've had a PS5 for a while like us, you've come to probably experience the same problem we've had where you buy a new game, you put it in, and it needs an update, but then this happens. And if you're like us, you're scrolling through your old games thinking, which one can I delete? Which one is taking up the most memory? You delete it just to play this game, only to wait a week where you want to play that game again and literally have to re-download it. I've done that multiple times. So let's talk about how we can fix this problem. PS5 has only 825 gigs of internal hard drive, which means when you have a game like Call of Duty, which needs hundreds of gigs to play and keep updating, it limits you to the games you can have at one time on your PS5. So there's two fixes to this problem. So the first one is buying an external hard drive um, they're relatively cheap, so they're probably around 100 to $200 depending on how many terabytes you want to get, um, which is good. So, But the thing is, you can't play games off an external hard drive, which means you have to keep transferring games from the external hard drive to the internal, internal hard drive to play them, which is not the end of the world, but it's, it's still something you have to take a note of. It's annoying. And the second fix is it is obviously buying an internal hard drive that attaches to your PS5. It's not as difficult to install as you think. All you need to do is take off the PS5 cover, undo two screws, install it, put the screws back in, and then you're done. So it's actually quite simple to set up, which yeah, is good. It's pretty good, and what it does, it enables you then just to play straight off that hard drive. Instead of having to transfer the games to and fro, you can play straight on, play straight through, and uh, it helps with your storage. One of our subscribers has actually done this, and uh, it was super simple, and now he does not have this problem anymore. So it's definitely one to for you to think about. But the PlayStation requires certain specs for the memory hard drive. So we'll put it here just quickly, the, the graph that shows you what's required for the memory hard drive. You can even look at the PlayStation website to make sure you get the right hard drive. But most of them, if you have a look when you look online, they'll actually direct you to the right ones anyways. Although this is such an easy thing uh, for you to be able to do, and it's probably the better way to do it to get memory, it's actually very, very pricey. You're looking at spending between, you know, five to 600 for a two terabyte uh, internal hard drive. And if you want four terabytes, you're looking at almost a thousand dollars, which is pretty much the price of another PS5. So if we had to pick the best option, we would pick the first option. Ding, 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 ding. Um, it's, it's a little bit mucking around with USBs, but yeah. the cost of $100, you fix your problem, you don't have to delete any games. Let's look at some hard drives that are sold on Pepper Gaming recommended. So the first one on the list is in the category of affordable, are two options here. So you've got the Seagate 2 terabyte at $79, and the Seagate 4 terabyte at $139. And the second category for best performance is the one terabyte internal memory that we talked about in S episode at 399, and a two terabyte Fire Acuda 530 at 779. And the last category is the ultimate setup, which would be a WD Elements 12 terabyte external hard drive for 429. And if you added the two terabyte internal, this would set up your gaming memory for life. So you would never have to worry about running out of memory when you're playing your PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X. So this was a short and sweet episode just to give you an idea of what to do for your memory problem for the PS5. Yeah, and, and it's... Sorry. Cut you off. Okay, fine, we'll do it again. But there's another issue that we need to fix, and hopefully you guys can help us fix that, is that we need you to subscribe to this <laughs> channel. Sure, subscribe. subscribe. <laughs> Tell your friends. No, no, we want to say thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, liking, all that stuff, and uh, stay tuned. We've got more great content coming out your way. See you guys. Peace. Really? You have to do peace all the time. It's my line. Yeah, you can say bye. <laughs> peace. See ya. Peace. Or arrivederci. Ciao, buongiorno, peace. <laughs> peace. Alright, that's done. That was We're good. Done. You got Cut it. it. Cut it.